It's so degrading. Uh, so degrading. The entire, the entire process is so degrading. And the thing, but I, I'm well versed. I'm well versed in being degraded. Uh, living in New York, New York, or, which is where I learned a lot about being degraded. Um, so the Milwaukee Ballet, I've taken class with Katie Thompson, I think three, four times, and that's on a Saturday. And so it's not like it's a large hundred thousand staffed people. I mean, there's literally, there's literally maybe 10 people staffed at this uh, Milwaukee Ballet, but it just all ties in. It ties into the degrading nature. Now, why did this person call this person? And why did this exchange actually happen? when she already knew why I was there. It's not like it's like some, some random thing that was just so unexpected. Uh, it was not some like random event that happened. And so the degrading nature of the entire process, this person working at this ballet company and how she feels she has to fit in to belong to that conglomerate of people. That person had no business calling that person to verify something that she was well capable and aware of didn't exist. I walked in and I said, I'm here for the 615 class. And she immediately said, is it a drop-in class? And then she pulled out her notebook and she started looking through it as if she didn't already know, or she pretended to not know. But I made it very clear for her, not, to, not so that I could say she's an idiot, but to just to let her know that I'm aware that everything she was doing was planned and was totally unnecessary and uncalled for. It speaks to the degrading nature and how people are so quickly and willing and able to degrade one another. So, everything that happened with this person um, via email, it's all wrong. It's totally incorrect behavior. But I'm, I, I, women are interesting. But it's not like my first, this is not my first track of living with Barbara Julie. But now I have a, the business card of someone else at this Milwaukee Ballet whose name is Alex Johnson. This is a school and academy administrator. So I've taken class with Katie Ott Thompson on numerous times. I reached out to someone about a pot of duh, told that pot of duh is not happening because of the pandemic. So I sent an email to the girl that works the front desk on, on Saturday. So she knows who I am. It's not about, it's not an arrogant thing. I don't think it's an arrogant thing. I think it's more of a fear thing. These people are in fear. Well, not the person I just saw, the person I just saw now, it's not in fear. That person is doing, it's just a part of the equation that keeps things so and the, the way that phone call went, it was so degrading for the person that's sitting there because that person is working there. That person knows what she's supposed to do. She knows her title. She knows what classes are being run there. So that was totally, completely ridiculous. Um, so moving on. I have the phone or the business card of the person named Alex Johnson. So I'm gonna add on to my list of Milwaukee Ballet people. So the first one, 
So there's Katie and Katie. Then there's this Makaki or something. I don't know what her, how to pronounce her last name. And now there's Alex Johnson. Why would that person call this Katie person? And I'm standing right there and I give this person my name. And the person sitting there gives the person that name. It's like, you didn't respond to my email. I don't work for Milwaukee Ballet. I don't get paid to work for Milwaukee Ballet. I'm a patron, or supposed to be a patron, paying for these um, classes. So, the degrading nature of this city, the city has an immense problem, an immense problem, totally, completely. But I can't, oh, with the ballet class and then changing the music from classical music to like pop music. I did like a 30, 40 minute video on that, how completely absurd that was. And so these, these people have issue and they have issue, it's out of fear. The person working front desk on Saturdays, you know, it takes time. It takes time to put reason into people's minds. So as I was walking to the Milwaukee Ballet Company, there was a person that was following me online with what I've been talking about, about being followed. There was a person following me who had his like blue mask, his blue surgical masks, because that, that's what those are. Those are blue surgical masks. Uh, walking around with it in his hand. The person followed me all the way into the original spot where I went once on Saturday for a cappuccino. So this dude's walking around with his blue surgical mask in his hand. I guess it's some kind of stipulation or something to do or tie in with my Facebook post where I have my whatever you want to fucking call this shit, a mask on my neck, resting. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. It's like so trivial. It's tactless. It's unbelievable, it's so, it's so unbelievably ridiculous what the people in the city have to go through. Meanwhile, I can go to fucking Seattle. You got all these fucking foreigners. Got these fucking pe oh, I, I'm not even gonna get into it. But what the people in this city have to go through, how a transaction shouldn't be as difficult as it was. Like I'm some kind of, that's another thing. No, I'm not a pop icon. I'm none of those things. I'm living in an apartment with my mother, one bedroom apartment. On the door, it says no soliciting. No, this is nothing special. This is nothing grand. The drop-in class, changing the music to that shit. That was fucking ridiculous. That was fucking ridiculous. But I stuck with it. Now the ballet class has been off for two weeks. So it's gonna be back on this Saturday. But I'm happy. Hopefully I don't have to deal with Katie anymore. Because Katie had no business sending me an email in the first place about some payment. I don't know how that happened. I don't really know how any of this just happened. Now, I don't know if Alex Johnson is a man. Probably is another woman. The entire time at the Milwaukee Ballet, I've been interacting with women. Everyone there is a woman. So... We'll see if Alex Johnson is a man. Probably not. But. Everything has gone, everything has gone wrong. Everything has gone wrong. So this is not, it's not people doing good by people. It's not, this is not people following rules. 
This is people cheating. This is people lying and cheating and stealing. This is not about anything else than that. People are lying and cheating and stealing. Why are they doing it? Is it tact? No, it's not, it's tactless. It's garbage, it's trash. There's no, there's no positive outcome to come from that. There's no positive outcome to come from that. The Chase Bank. You want two photo IDs to verify my account? Oh, you wanted to cancel my Rhode Island driver's license? Oh, I get it. It's tactless. That's garbage. That's thievery and trickery. So thank goodness I went to UW, I went to Madison and interacted with those people that are being mistreated. But I realized sitting there, it's like, let me go and get this motherfucking iPhone. After everything that's gone through, finally, let me go and get this motherfucking iPhone. Getting back to Milwaukee, getting the mail from Chase, from Rhode Island, from Wisconsin. I don't even fucking, it's so tactless. It's not fighting a good fight. It's not doing what's right. They're cheaters. They're liars and you're cheaters. Robbers and stealers. Everything has gone wrong here. Everything. MATC, UW Milwaukee, MSOE. Milwaukee Ballet, the housing authority, the restaurants. Everything has gone wrong. Let's go this way. Everything has gone wrong. This isn't because people are doing things that are better. It's not because people are doing the things that are right. It's not because I'm doing the things that are wrong. It's not because I'm breaking some law or rule. So what is it I'm doing that is so incorrect? What am I doing that is wrong? That's the question. It's three educational institutions. That's a non-profit ballet company or a ballet school, gyms, recreation, housing, non-profit organizations. What the fuck? Hunt several months, no case manager? No medication for my disorder, even though I'm giving this money, this disability money? Oh, because it's fake? It's a fake disability, it's not real? Oh, seven months in a hospital, it's not real? A judge in Rhode Island that said it was real? Enough, so much so that I was granted a disability? What is it that I'm doing wrong? What laws and rules am I breaking? So no, it's not that I'm doing wrong. I had to call, I'm sitting here trying to do this fucking problem in a fucking library and you've got people following me. What do I do? I get the fucking app and I call the non-emergency and I say, there's an emergency. People are following me. And what did the security guard want to do? He wanted to make it about the person I said's following me. It's like, no, this is about me. 
I'm the one calling. I'm the one calling. It's not about you. This is about me. You are working, doing your job. I'm the person making the complaint. It is about me. It's not about anything else. So we talk about love yourself or be a be, be your own man. It's like, are you kidding? Are you referring to me? Are you are you actually are are you are somehow you're confused? You must be confused. The security guard made it about the person who I didn't name, give a name, a sex. I said a person. That was a person. That's it. And this person wanted to talk about that person. But I'm the person that's making the fucking complaint. So what does this mean? How does this translate? Language. Images. The dude walking with the blue mask in his fucking hand. It's not a language. Those are images and manipulation of images. Those aren't words. That's not a dialogue. So you inhibit a situation or a conversation or an idea by eliciting these ideas. And these ideas are branded by some concept made by some strategy to advertise some kind of point of view or a belief. So the dude, literally, he really was believing what the fuck he was doing. Someone must have said, go and follow this person with your blue mask in your hand and walk a route that he walked because you know he's going to the ballet school. So what inspired this person to do this? I don't fucking know. Maybe it was a dare or a bit. And I, this goes back to what I've been saying. Like, I wish I could be that person. I wish I could know what it's like to be that person who just like, it's like, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, let's do that. I wish I could be that person or I wish I could know what it felt to be like that person, but I don't. And the music, I fucking hate the music. I fucking hate all of this music. I fucking hate all of this music. I don't like any of this fucking music. <sighs> Back to Milwaukee Ballet. Alex Johnson. Probably another girl. Why are there so many girls or women? It's because that's their sex. And they like being beat up and slapped around and all that shit. So they can take it. But the men, the men can't take it. The men can't take the beating. The men can't take the beating from these animals, from these creatures from these heathens. The man can't take the beating coming from these creatures and animals. But the women can. It's not about Eastern boys and Western girls or whatever. It's about the fact that the man can't take the beating from these creatures, these wildebeest, these untamed, tactless, creatures all they do is run their mouth non-stop they can run their mouth non-stop and never shut the fuck up their mouths will never stop running they will keep going and going and going and you can't shut them up you can't make them shut the fuck up they just keep talking and talking and talking and going and going and going. They don't stop. They keep running their mouths non-stop. 
So what do you do when they run their mouths nonstop? You have to solidify, you have to solidify a belief, an ideology, a principle. You have to clearly state the things that you want to get across. Because these people, these creatures, will run their mouths non-stop. They won't stop talking. They'll keep going and going and going and going. And the man can't handle it. The man can't take it. The women can. The women can take the beating. The women can take it and they enjoy it. But the man cannot do that. A man cannot do that. So what I'm doing, doing the very best that I can, because I can't run my mouth nonstop. I can't blab on and on and on and on and on and on. I can't do it. I don't have the ability. Not in the manner of these creatures. These creatures can run their mouths non-stop. So. It's educational institutions. It's non-profit organizations. That's health facilities. All these things that are supposed to be in place to help the citizen to help the individual. These tools are supposed to be in place to help the citizen. Barbara Julian, the disability, the case manager, the counselor, the doctor, the nurse, these people are supposed to be in place to help the individual. They're not supposed to be in place to hinder the individual. And as I'm on the Milwaukee School of Engineering campus, there is walking by a security vehicle. A Milwaukee School of Engineering public safety. But the cause for the concern of safety is coming from the institution itself. So the terrorism and terrorizing is coming from the institution itself. That's why I'm documenting every single issue that I have. Every issue I'm going to document it by calling the non-emergency safety number. And I hope that they dock it every phone call that they get. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. We want to know who's doing the wrongdoing. It certainly isn't me. Oh, shit, this is locked. These are supposed to be institutions at work. Institutions at work for the citizenry, that work for the people. I think that's what I personally believe in. And no one person, no one person is bigger than the people, than the community. No one person is bigger than the community. People are engaged in the community, have a different job or an occupation, but no one person is bigger than the community. So I'm no pop icon. Oh, someone's card. Michael E. Mills. No one's bigger than the community. No matter how big you make them. No matter how much you separate them from their community. 
No one's bigger than the community. Obviously, riding with the wrong hand. It's far more drastic. In a few minutes, a few moments of being completely mutilated as a newborn baby. That's just fucking sad. Mutilate a baby. No, writing with the wrong hand for 20 plus years. Now that's something.